Hi guys, Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Well, I'm just uh, on my back deck. It's uh, late November, and I just picked up a new uh, new piece of kit. It, this is the uh, MSR Whisper Light International. Very uh, very popular stove. I saw this one on uh, the local local uh, buy and sell site, and I thought I'd uh, pick it up and, uh, and give it a try. So uh, let's have a quick look and a uh, quick review of the, uh, the Whisper Light International by MSR. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the green iron. So this is the Whisper Light International. I just picked this up off a uh, buy and sell site. Here's the original tag for it. Whisper Light International 600 stove. Mountain safety research. We'll use white gas, high grade kerosene, auto gas. So this is why I picked it up. That multi, multi fuel purpose is gonna serve us well. A couple of different instruction setups uh, there's the lid for the, uh, the canister we'll cloth here what else is in the kit I understand there's a couple of different tools and in this bag there's the some pump oil uh, wrench an extra o-ring seal and the, it looks like the extra port there an extra fuel nozzle I'll have to read the instructions how to use that. Um, got a couple of uh, aluminum shielding. This shield there for the windshield. And this is another windshield of sorts. Kind of a high grade aluminum. And, uh, Sure that just goes on there somewhere but not too worried about there it comes with a nice carrying bag which is always handy to keep all your parts together so we're going to move a few of these pieces out of the way how this stove packs down is all the legs fold yeah, all fold together and this extra little nozzle hose uh, can just get put on there that's that's how I'm gonna pack it down anyways so you pull that out this is my second time using the stove so I'm not really proficient at it just yet okay <clears throat> with the bottle it has the uh, the threaded on pump set up and it has uh, you pump that up to 30 times just to pressurize the bottle. This little orifice here receives the the end of the, the gas line. And push that all the way in. It seats right down to the bottom. And then this lever folds over the top and just snaps down into place. Now being all rolled up a little with a little flexion, the stove kind of sits sits nicely so it's not kind of tipping up and if you look down inside by the wick I'm going to turn on the fuel and if you look down inside the wick you should be able to see the fuel Slowly opening. Oh, there it comes. All right, I'm going to shut it off. So you can see the fuel 
filling up the bowl here, soaking the wick. So now with the the wick, we're gonna light it. And it's my understanding that the heat is going to kind of cause that fuel to start vaporizing in this tube. Now I'm going to open the fuel a little bit further. Here the pressure is naturally building up. And you want to hear that hissing sound. Here you open your tank all the way and uh, the jets are very difficult to see but they're coming out uh, at full, full volume right now and it's ready to uh, boil some water cook some food. Now what I'm going to try, I'm going to try to shut it right off, clockwards on the dial, shuts it off, there it is, and you can start to hear the, the hissing and the burning as the fuel is burned out of the lines. I just want to see how easy it is to relight. Okay, it is now out. I'm going to turn the, uh, the jets back on again. Turn the tank back on. And quite easy to relight, just from the top. I did not have to... Uh, and that would be quite safe. If you're in uh, operating this in a vestibule of the tent, that second burn would be quite easy to light without the risk of a, a big flare-up happening. get a pot of water on here. Okay, just went to get some uh, some water in the pot. We're going to see how long it takes to boil. It's uh, 500 milliliters of water. Turn on the fuel Let's see, and relight this. Okay, it's been off for about five minutes, so you can see that it's going to take a little bit to repressurize. Okay, that sounds good. And it's 11.50, we'll see how long this takes to boil.
Well, it's about five minutes and that water is almost to a rolling boil. Certainly hot enough for any uh, super hot drink that I'm going to want to eat or drink. So I think that we'll, uh, we'll call that a win. Trying some ginger chai tea. Now that the stove's had a chance to cool down, we just uh, we're gonna re repeat the process in reverse. Take off the uh, the latch, the fuel nozzle, fuel hole, the fuel line. Just kind of it's a nice fit, nice pressure fit. Comes out of the bottle. Make sure our valve is nice and closed, and nice and tight. And from here, this is the uh, kind of the solid fuel line here. All the legs wrap kind of toward which way are we going here? Spin around and wrap toward this fuel line toward this side, and it all kind of caves down on itself. And this little nozzle can wrap up and just kind of tuck in there, and just like that, nice and convenient. So if we can put all these pieces back in the bag, you don't want to lose any of these extra pieces or uh, instructions. Okay. There's that in the screen. The other one's just blown off the table. And nice and cool to the touch means we can put it back in the bag. go whisper light international well guys thanks for joining me today a quick review of the whisper light international 600 series stove today we're using white gas as a fuel and within five minutes we had a rolling boil uh, on this uh, quite heavy duty pot and uh, <clears throat> certainly a stove that packs down conveniently the multi-fuel operation allows uh, uh, that that ability to to resort to different fuels in uh, in a pinch but right now we were using white gas and it uh, uh, it worked great so uh thanks for watching jeff allen off the gridiron don't forget to click like subscribe and share and maybe the bell notification down below us to, uh, to be notified of some of my future videos until next time enjoy your outdoors bye for now cheers